Hi all, Kyle, AA0Z here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Node-RED on a Raspberry Pi from scratch. Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, you're going to need the hardware to get this up and running. So you're gonna need a Raspberry Pi 4 with at least four gig of RAM. You're gonna need a power cable. That's a USB-C that uh, delivers at least three amps. Uh, the Raspberry Pi cable, official cable, is probably the one to get. Uh, mini HDMI to a regular HDMI to be able to hook this up to a monitor and get it configured. Uh, once that is done, you can SSH into it. A 16 gig or 32 gig uh, SD card. Probably get a good uh, SD card as you're going to be writing a lot of data to this. An Ethernet cable and a case. I'm going to have links for all of that equipment down in the description below, so feel free to click on that and uh, buy it through there. I get a small commission for uh, those links, um, but everything will be there for, to get you up and running. All right, after you've got all the equipment uh, procured, you want to go to the Raspberry Pi imager and download this for Windows or Mac or Ubuntu or um, the operating system that you're working for or working on, and uh, you want to download this and install it onto your local computer. So we're going to do this now. All right, after you've downloaded the Raspberry Pi imager and have installed it, um, this screen will pop up. You want to choose your operating system. So you'll want to go to Choose OS and navigate to Raspberry Pi OS Other. And I choose the Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit. That will just install the essentials that you need. And then the storage, you want to pop your SD card into your computer. If you don't have a reader, you're going to need a reader. And mine is mounted as D. So I'm going to uh, choose D on uh, the, the option there. And I'm going to choose right. And that is going to all existing... Data on disk drive will be erased. Do you sure you want to continue? And click yes. And it is going to write that file. All right, process is done. You can hit continue and remove the SD card from your computer. All right, after you have inserted the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and applied power, it is going to boot up here. You can see in the background. And you want to plug the Ethernet cord into the device so you can get it on the network. There is instructions below on how to uh, put a bootloader file on your image and let it boot up so it gets wireless. But that is out of the scope of this video. So we're going to log in with Pi. And the, ras the password is raspberry, all lowercase. So it's going to bring you up to a Raspberry Pi prompt. Um, you can see up there in the scroll, it says my IP address is 192.168.1.120. We can confirm that by doing an if config, and it's going to show me my INET is 192.168.1.120, that uh, second line down. The first thing that you want to do after you bring a, a new Raspberry Pi on the network is to do sudo app get update. And that is going to go out and get all of the updates that it needs to install. You can see that it fetched 13.4 megabits bytes of data. And then after that, you want to do sudo apt get upgrade and hit the enter button. And it will... Uh, ask you, do you want to continue with the install? And you say yes. And it's going to go ahead and install all of the necessary packages that uh, were not originally on your image file. All 
All right, once that is done, you want to enable SSH so you can get to the Raspberry Pi on the network <clears throat> without getting into the console. So you want to type in sudo raspi-config. And you want to come down to interface options, number three. You want to come down to SSH, hit enter, and it asks you, do you want to enable the SSH server? And you click yes. It is now enabled. And then I click on finish. And you might want to go through here and set your time zone and some other things um, in the Raspberry Pi. And that's where you, you do this. But I'm going to hit finish. It's going to bring me down to the command prompt, and then I'm going to reboot this thing one more time just to make sure that everything gets loaded correctly, and that is sudo shutdown, tack R for reboot, and now, or reboot now, and it is going to reboot. All right, I can see my address is still 182.168.1.20. So I'm going to download PuTTY, or your favorite SSH, Client, and I'm going to SSH into this uh, Raspberry Pi and finish the Node-RED install. All right, I have downloaded PuTTY, and I will put a link in the description below on how to download PuTTY. So whenever you launch PuTTY, this is an SSH client. Uh, for host name, you'll put in the IP address of the Pi, 192.168. 168, if I can type, 1.120. Or 22 is fine. And then I'm going to click Open. It's going to ask me if I want to accept this key. And I say yes. I'm going to log in as user pi, and my password is raspberry. And it's going to bring me down to the command prompt. At this point, you need to... Uh, change the Raspberry Pi's default password, and you can uh, do that by password, and then click Enter, and it's going to ask you for the existing password and the new password. I suggest that you change it to something secure. Now to install Node-RED, if you go over to the Node-RED website, nodered.org, and you search for Raspberry Pi, there is a bash script that someone has made to automate the install. So in my putty screen over here, I'm going to copy that bash script and I'm going to right click and it's gonna paste it into my SSH session and I'm gonna hit enter. And it's gonna say, do I really wanna do this? And I click yes. Do you wanna install the Pi specific nodes? I do. Click yes to that, and it is going to install Node-RED. All right, it is done. Now, in order for you to start Node-RED, uh, you need to issue Node-RED start at the command prompt, and that is going to start Node-RED. Now, enable to for you to start Node Red whenever um, the Pi boots. You want to issue. You want to control C out of that and do a sudo systemctl enable Node Red dot service and click or. Uh, Hit your enter button. It's going to issue or create that uh, that link. And now what I do is I issue a sudo shutdown down back R now, and I reboot the system and let it come back up. And once it's back up, uh, I will show you how to get into the to uh, the programming uh, web page for Node Red. All right, the Raspberry Pi is rebooting right now. All right, it's up and running. So now if we go over to our IP address, which is 
1.1.120, and then the port is 1.8.8.0. There is the programming screen for Node-RED, and you can start programming. So that's what it takes to get Node-RED installed on a Raspberry Pi. Again, all of the commands are down below in the description. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe, and we will talk to you later. 73.